Do you know what the five major books of prophecy are in the Bible? In this video from the Biblical Path of Life, we'll discuss what those are and how they fit with the rest of the Bible. In Amos chapter 5 and verse 14 it says, Seek good and not evil, that ye may live, and so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you, as ye have spoken. The word seek here means to search, and we should really search for good things in this world and not evil. In the Old Testament, we find that God's people had quit seeking good, and they were continually doing evil. God would speak to the people through His prophets, and He would tell them to seek after Him and follow His commands. And this is the role the prophets played in history. God sent the prophets to remind the people to follow Him and His commands. They were entrusted with God's Word to be delivered to the people, exposing the sins of the people and revealing the need for repentance. Repentance means turning a humble heart back to God, and that's exactly what God wanted them to do. And it took a lot of courage for them to call on the people to repent. And although it was a difficult task, we see faithful men accomplish what God asked of them. Even when the people refused to listen at the time, we see God work to fulfill His plan. We should never be afraid to study the words written in the books of prophecy. By doing so, we will be reminded to follow God and His commands. In addition to that, we find in these scriptures that the prophets reminded the people that the promised one, Jesus, would come. Now, if you remember from the last video, we discussed that the prophets were called such because they were messengers of God, men whom God called to proclaim the word of the Lord to His people, the Israelites. The prophets exposed the people's sins by showing them that they were not following God's law, and that showed them that they needed to repent from their sin. But in addition to that, they foretold of two very important events, the first and second coming of Jesus. They gave many insights as to the timing, the place, and even the manner in which He would come. Even when they could not fully understand everything they recorded in God's Word for us to read today, they were faithful to obey God and His commands. And now, let's take a look at these five major prophets. The first of these is Isaiah. He was called to be a prophet in the year King Uzziah died, and lived into the reign of Manasseh, one of the worst kings Judah had. He prophesied for about 40 years. Isaiah was a prophet to Judah before they were carried away into captivity, but he did see Israel carried away into captivity by Assyria. Isaiah examines the sins of Judah, speaking to the kings in their courts. Isaiah is often quoted in the New Testament. Jesus quoted from it often. Remember that Ethiopian eunuch that was reading out of the Old Testament when Philip showed him how to be saved? He was reading out of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is known as the prophet who foretold the Babylonian conquest and Jesus' is coming as our suffering Savior. Isaiah records many specific prophecies concerning the coming of the Messiah, more than any other book in the Old Testament. In Isaiah chapter 6, we read how God called Isaiah. He asked, Who would go? And Isaiah answered God's call to go and tell. He obeyed when God called. Next we have Jeremiah. He lived about 100 years after Isaiah. God knew Jeremiah would be a prophet before he was even born. He saw five kings with only one of them, King Josiah, being a godly king. Jeremiah preached during his reign. King Josiah began eliminating idolatry and cleaning out the temple. While repairing the temple, a copy of the law was found. The king read the law, which led to repentance and reformation. Jeremiah prophesied that the people would be held in captivity for 70 years. This scripture encouraged and inspired Daniel, who was held captive in Babylon. Jeremiah was a prophet to Judah before they were carried into captivity. Jeremiah is known as the weeping prophet, and he foretold of Jesus, the branch of David. Next we had the book of Lamentations, and this was written by Jeremiah. Lamentations was written as a poem that reveals the horrors of seeing the city of Jerusalem and the temple of God destroyed. And this happens right after a terrible siege against the city. Lamentations can be found in the center of these five books, and that allows us to see the division in the time periods. Next comes Ezekiel. While Jeremiah was ending his prophecies in Jerusalem, Ezekiel was beginning his ministry among the exiles. He was also called by God. Ezekiel's ministry began in Israel. Then he was captured. Then it ended in captivity in Babylon. His prophecies began once he was taken captive. Later, Ezekiel had the task of telling the generation born in captivity about the sins that led to the people's exile. Many of the children that heard him preach 
were the ones who later returned to Jerusalem after 70 years of captivity. That's why it's so important that we teach our children God's word. Daniel was a prophet to the people after they were expelled from the promised land. The first half of the book records many events of the lives of Daniel and his three friends as they remained faithful to God, even though they were taken from their homeland. They were young men of conviction. They were not afraid to stand and choose to obey God rather than man. They are mighty examples for us to remain a separate and faithful people, despite adverse circumstances. After Daniel was taken from his homeland, he was in Babylon where he was reading the book of Jeremiah. He found something interesting in there that encouraged him greatly. He understood that the people would only be captive from their homeland for 70 years and then they could return. He found the piece of the puzzle and understood what God was doing. We can do the same if we'll take the time to read God's Word daily. The book of Daniel is an important piece of God's Word. The book of Revelation cannot be properly understood without first understanding the book of Daniel. A portion of every chapter of Daniel is referred to or quoted in all but two chapters in Revelation. Jesus referred to Daniel, the book and the man, many times. Daniel proved himself worthy to be used by God. He refused to obey the king and instead chose to obey God's commands. Because only God knows all, we sometimes have trouble obeying what we don't understand. The prophets were faithful men who followed God even when they didn't completely understand. Sometimes the prophet only held a piece of a future event. Remember those pieces we've been talking about? Remember Daniel when he read the book of Jeremiah? These prophets each held different pieces of information given to them by God. Now we can read the entirety of all those pieces and put them together to see they all point to Jesus. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing. Also, for more information on the biblical path of life, visit our website at biblicalpath.com. For a deeper study on today's lesson, be sure to check out the description below, where you'll find the recommended Bible readings for this lesson, as well as links to purchase the written version of our Bible study series.